Salutations and welcome to Ross Range. Today's video, an Ivor Johnson shotgun. So what I've got here is a Ivor Johnson shotgun 16 gauge. That's the only thing I can tell you about it at this point because um, I can't really see anything else on the barrel or on the receiver. It's too rusted and pitted. It's a pretty old shotgun. So once I clean it off and find out what the serial number is, then maybe we can find out uh, what model and what year this thing is. So stay tuned for another rescue. Um. Well, I haven't ever taken this uh, shotgun apart before, so I don't know what to expect, and uh, we're going to learn along the way. Generally speaking, these, I don't see a screw, yep, pulls off. out of there maybe there we go well nothing that I can see on here yet to identify it as anything other than an Ivor Johnson there's a serial number there we'll get to that eventually that might help a little light you know these will be the good old days 20 years from now and oh my, these will be the good old songs that are on the radio now. We remember when the old songs were the songs our fathers know. And oh, but now it seems the old songs were sung by Billy Joel. Can't wait to sing the good old songs 20 years from now those songs that are the hits today our contest will allow somehow here's a glimpse of what's to come just, just remember, remember when, when we're done that these will be the good old songs just 20 years from now 20 years from now See if I can order a new one of those when I find out what model it is. Uh huh. I had a feeling. There might be something going on there. 
that stands for. This is an interesting uh, shotgun, as you can see. It's got something etched in there, carved in there, and it also has the uh, five-pointed star. My uh, grandfather was a mason, so maybe that's one of his deals. My great-grandfather as well, as well as also my father, so I'll have to ask him about that. All right, this is a big screw back here. What do you know? Okay. Let's see how this, see how that worked out there. Take it outside and blow it out with some canned air. Well, I'd like to see what's going on inside there, but this thing is a solid cast piece of metal with no way to get inside other than back here Looks like you can adjust that spring by moving this plate Nothing to see in there. It's a pretty simple mechanism, really. And you have to put a, uh, I don't know if you can get a look at that or not, but A screw there so you'd have to go in with a blade sideways and just do small turns. I sure didn't make these things very user friendly but then again I don't know how old it is but I'm sure it still functions. It seems to everything as long as that firing pin goes forward which it does. Still shoots after all these years, so I guess you don't need to do much inside there. Could take it all apart, but why? That's just going to be a recipe for disaster, I think, because all these there's two screws in here, and now I see another one under the the other side of the spring. There's a screw right there. You can only get to that sideways. You can only get to that sideways. That's going to take this off, which is spring loaded. Oh, 
cooked in there. I guess it doesn't make much sense for me to pop these pins out because all I'm going to do is have a hell of a time getting all this shit back in there. Everything still feels pretty smooth, so. Simple trigger. is pretty simple hooks to a bar that hooks onto that there's the spring right here you know those leaf style springs so there you have it. That's the takedown. <laughs> no need to go any farther, although I I think I will actually throw this into the ultrasonic cleaner because it does have some junk. Give it a good ballast all bath. And uh, about it really yeah I think I'll just throw this in the ultrasonic with some with some ballast all how to get some money from these guys as much as I promote their so. all right <laughs> Get the heater going. I definitely love this little thing, and I'll probably, I mean. Probably going to get another one that's a larger size. That'll do. in there. metal sitting on the metal bottom but probably gonna do this eight minutes several times so we'll be back all right we got the receiver in the ultrasonic cleaner and I've got this stock here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this exactly because it's not really in horrible shape. Need some good cleaning and maybe uh, maybe 
maybe just oil it. A little linseed oil, maybe. Uh, so I'm going to put that aside. Let's take this part here. Always try and use the right size bit and you'll save your screw heads. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart, got lost in the game. Oh, baby, baby, oops, you think I'm in love. That I'm sent from above. I'm not that innocent. Bye, 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 bye. bye. I'm doing this tonight. You're probably gonna start a fight. I know this can't be right. Hey, baby, come on. Love you in the sleep. Looks like it might be uh, stamped. Well, this says 88812. I'm assuming that's what these are 88812, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so. 88812. So, okay. Get the picture. I'm going to throw those pieces into the ultrasonic cleaner here in a minute. In the meantime, let's see if we can scrape a little off this barrel here and see what's up. Uptown funk, gonna give it to ya. Well, it looks like it says, still hard to read, 16 gauge choke, bore, Barrel and lug forged in one. Sixteen gauge choke bore barrel and lug in forged in one. Okay. Thanks for that. Uptown funk. Gonna give it to. Barrel looks pretty good inside. I think I will um, strip this down to bare metal and reblue it. Why not, right? Why the? Mm -hmm.